Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm featuring a new stamp set from the latest release by My Favorite Things and just like always they came up with adorable stamp sets, especially when it comes to critters. If you love creating cards with critters or little scenes with critters, then look no further. My Favorite Things has definitely something for you. So I just grabbed a few stamp sets here just so you can take a look. But for today I'm going to work with the Balloon Besties stamp set. This one includes five different critters as well as balloons, tiny little houses and clouds so you can create a lovely scene. The card design that I'm going for works with any of the critters in this stamp set as well as with other critters that you may have on your stash. So I'm going for a little uh, scene. I did use this uh, rectangle die to cut out my panel and it gives a lovely stitching. And I also did cut out a little piece of scrap paper for the bottom just to get the stitching all around. And now I am securing on top with some uh, low tack tape a die so that I can have a heel. I have my two pieces ready to go and I will create a little scene, a background for my little critter. So I will start with two shades of Distress Oxide for the heel. I'm going with light to cover it up completely and then just to avoid having a flat color all over the place I will go with a darker shade. Any two shades of green, any ink would work for this technique. I am working on a non-stick silicone mat, this is by Waffle Flower, and I do that just because I want to see if my background is um, dirty. Sometimes when I do inking on top of my glass mat, just because this one is black, I don't see that it is dirty and I get splotches on areas that I don't want to have. Now I will repeat the same process using two shades of blue for my sky. If you are wondering which colors I used, for the grass I went with my go-to colors for grass which are Twisted Citron for the lighter shade and Mode Lone for the darker tones. And then for my sky I'm starting with tablet glass all over the place and then I will darken up one area only with Broken China. I use these big blending brushes because they apply color really quickly in a bigger area and it also goes really soft so I am uh, not getting any splotches at all. However, I do use oxide ink which are a dream to work with. I decided to go with a bunny with the three balloons and I'm going to stamp that with my extreme black ink just because it is safe to use that with alcohol inks later on. And there are two different designs of tiny houses that I want to work with. I'm going to stamp a few of them and for that, just because the image is so tiny, I find it easier to just go with my small uh, stamping block. I'm also going to stamp uh, the little cloud, there is a super tiny one, which I'm going to stamp three times. And now for coloring, lately I go with my tree blends. I just like the fact that I get all three shades that I need to work with on one barrel. And then I'm just going to keep uh, things simple, just because I don't like to spend a lot of time coloring images. I'm going to keep uh, my bunny white, mainly white, so just uh, using a shade of grey on one side to give it a kind of a more dimensional look. With my blender pen, I'm going over the grey areas just to blend them out towards the white area so that I don't get any harsh lines. And now I'm going to use a pink marker, light pink for the ears as well as some uh, pinky cheeks. So I will call the bunny done. All I will do is to color in his nose to be black. And now for the balloons, I'm going with uh, rainbow water, so red, orange, yellow. I'm using here my red tree blend. I always like to cover up completely the area with a lighter color, then I go to the mid, then to the darker shade and all the way back to the lighter one. The thing with this uh, tree blend is that I don't have to look through my stars to find colors that match together. I just grab a marker and go for it and it always works fine. I am working on an inner solar white cardstock that is 80 pounds and it really makes a difference. I am going to repeat the same process for the orange balloon as well as for the yellow. If you need to know the exact uh, names of the markers that I used, uh, they are dark red blend for the red, for the orange I went with burnt orange blend 
and for the yellow I'm using gold yellow blend. I'm using the matching dies to cut out all the colored images and this is a personal favorite. I always like to pop things on top of my card. If you don't like that, you can always go with the same design but just stamp everything completely flat. You can get a similar result but without the dimension. I used glue to stick the grass at the very bottom and in a lovely background like this one, you can use any critter that you have on your stars. You can add clouds in the air or just balloons up there. When I create scenes with critters, I always go with a background like this one. Sometimes I even create a couple of uh, hills so that I can have more dimension. But um, you can never go wrong with a background like this one. I like to have elements going out of the edges of the panel. I think that it adds more interest on a card. That's why the balloons are uh, going outside of that corner. I'm also sticking down the tiny houses. This way it gives the illusion that the bunny is flying up high while the village is far, far away at the background. I went with a few houses on each side and uh, some of the houses are at the top of the hill while some of them are tucked underneath. I'm also going to stick the three little clouds and I'm going to call this panel done. I will stick it on top of a white card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to finish it off with a sentiment. This one comes from the same stamp set and I just white embossed it on a black piece of uh, cardstock. Again here I will have some of that black strip coming out of the main panel just like I did with the balloons. And do you remember back in the day when we used to add the Wink of Stella or Shine on uh, lots and lots of elements on top of my cards? Well, this is one of those days. I am using my Shimmer Pen by Novo and uh, the one that I'm using here is the Glitter Gloss. It just adds some shine on the balloons. I'm going to do that on his nose as well. And then to finish it off, I'm going to use my Novo drops in black. Always make sure that you try it out on a scrap piece of paper before you go ahead and add uh, dots on his eyes because you may ruin the card at this point. And I know that I have to stop with finishing touches so I'm going to call this card done. Here are some close-up photos. Cards with critters are sure to put a smile on the recipient. They are so cute and you can never go wrong with them. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for joining me today, for all the lovely comments and the likes. And I'll see you all next time.